2022 Nissan Kicks e-Power. What will happen to the Nissan e-Power hybrid battery cooling system if you don't apply preventive maintenance? Let me show you. Unfortunately, to service in the high voltage system cooling in an e-Power car, you need to scrap up everything, right? Most important is that you need to consider that the high voltage battery cooling system is located under both front seats with absolutely no air filtering. Then with the daily use in the vehicles, absolutely all the crap is gonna come inside the high voltage battery. Now watch this. You won't believe how much kind of crap goes inside the high voltage battery if you don't clean it properly let me take it out anywhere let's see there it is oh look this is the high voltage battery inlet that's it all this kind of crap goes directly into the cells <laughs> coming to the other side look the same amount of crap that comes in both sides let me take it out there it is holy cow yeah pretty bad eh? look at all the amount of crap right there at least every once a year or a couple years as long as you keep it clean you should service the high voltage battery cooling system in any nissan e-power and besides this we also have the cooling system for the dc to dc converter i'm gonna have to scrap all this to take out the high voltage battery fan sparky 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 clips paper oh look the kid's tooth Tooth Fairy, where are you? Some sweet as well. So this and more could hide inside your vehicle without you even notice it. Once poultry is out, let's take out the fan. Let's check it out. So once I take out everything, let's see the condition of the battery fan. There it is. First, want to see where is the air coming out? Look right here. So where you know all this crap coming from? Inside the high voltage battery system. And we can see now. That is a huge mess. So if this is the battery outlet, how is the battery inlet? The battery inlet. Look, look at all that mess. Wow, ridiculous amount of mess, right? This is the battery inlet. So this is the battery inlet from the other side. Look, a real mess. Clean and impeccable as it is. Look at it, impeccable as good as new. There it is, holy sh**, storm is coming, damn it. There it is, hurry up Jose, hurry up. We're almost done, but it's time to clean this mess. All right, she's clean now, but we have to make a little pause due to the stupid rain. But at the end of the day, we're just assembling. After we do this service every once or a couple years, this vehicle cooling system of the high voltage battery should be as good as new. So if you want to know more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then, bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe.